my ideal workout on set has to tally with where we're filming. A lot of the time in Vikings we have to be up the top of a mountain or on a big open field in loads of different weather conditions. So we have to just take what we can up with us to the top of the, the mountain and use whatever's available. We'll take resistance bands up and work around the, a tree. Lots of press ups and dips using whatever comes to hand. It's adaptable and changeable and you have to be like that in order to just stay in shape. I'm quite an active guy. And it's very hard for me to explain to my wife that I'm going to take two hours to travel to the gym, do a workout, travel back and leave her with the kids. I try and find a way to do it in the house or just get out and about. You know, I just think it's much more fun, even if it means just going to your local park and then having a workout. The first episode of season two was really physically challenging because this is the first beginnings of Rollo being the berserker. The word berserker comes from bare skin. So you're going to have your top off, you're going to be fighting the guys, clashing into shields, you know, bare skinned. But all the stunt guys that are wearing the armor in the scene, they're all wearing pads underneath. So I'm clashing, I'm the only one, or there's a couple of others that are smashing into metal shields and metal spears and axes. Probably going to be one of these guys that when I'm hit my, my late 40s, I'll have arthritic fingers and all joint problems and you know, be living in kind of Epsom salt. I'm not going to let anyone take that fun away from me because one day I'll be able to turn around to them and go, I was cool once. You know, it's me on the back of that horse, firing flaming arrows. Yeah, that's the challenging part of Rollo, to play this sociopath. He's always, you know, he's always plotting something behind the eyes and you never quite know if you can trust him, but you definitely don't want to fight against him. He, he lives his life in the grey. I mean, he's, he's not a villain, he's not a hero, and I think he's going to surprise some people. He has a lot of blowing up to do. You know, Ragnar sets him a challenge, and it's whether he accepts that challenge and starts to learn from his mistakes, or he rebels again against Ragnar and goes down a path of destruction and decimates everything in his path. That's the start of a road to redemption for Rollo.